Friday, November 16th, 2012, end of the week. Thank goodness it's Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. Uh, we're heading into the weekend. Things may be very, very dramatic. Obviously, uh, the top story today continues to be Israel's bombardment and preparations for invasion of Gaza. And this thing is just completely spinning out of control. I want to give you the timeline of how this renewed violence began. And the reason I want to do that is there are key aspects of this that are simply being ignored, hidden, concealed by the American corporate media, which is out there with their pom-poms and their short skirts saying, Go Israel, rah! Go Israel, rah! Israel, good! Everybody else, bad! And they're, they're just cheering on this whole situation. Apparently the Senate just passed a unanimous motion of support for Israel and what they're doing. It, it seems the only time the Congress is ever unanimous on anything is we've got to support Israel. We have to throw money and your children for Israel's benefit and gain, so forth and so on. All right, so all of this began November 8th. Okay, before November 8th, there was actually peace and calm. Nothing was uh, going on worth note and then on november 8th that's the day it was reported on the 11th but it was on november 8th that an idf soldier shot a palestinian child playing soccer from the helicopter now this was all happening at the same time that petraeus sex scandal was all over the media remember when i said we're being conditized something's going on we're not supposed to know about because it was all sex, all Petraeus all the time, all Paula, whatever the heck her name is. Okay, so in retaliation for this soldier gunning down a Palestinian kid playing soccer, the Gazans fired on a jeep with some IDF soldiers in it, and apparently they blew up a tunnel injuring another IDF person. Israel then shot and killed two more Palestinian children, and then opened fire on the tent at one of the funerals. Now, if somebody from another country came into the United States and gunned down your children in cold blood, and then when you were having a funeral to try to deal with your grief, they opened fire on the funeral, how would you react? So the violence continued to escalate until November 12th, when a ceasefire was suggested. And the shooting on both sides stopped. Israel sent to the Hamas military commander, Ahmed Jabari, a draft of a permanent truce agreement with Israel, which included mechanisms for maintaining the ceasefire, even in the event of, of flare-ups. And it was while he was looking at this document, he got assassinated, followed by extensive bombing campaign and Operation Pillar of Cloud.